Hey, what's happening? What Johnny Man here, and welcome back to my Coventry City FIFA 18 career mode video. So today episode is going to be episode number six, I believe. Yep, episode six of the second season in charge. So today's video, we have two games for you as per usual. First is going to be up against Barry and then MK Don's midweek. So I do need to see your feedback though. I want to know what do you guys want to see? Do you want to see me do the same? Uh, do you guys want to see me do every single game for the season? Or do you want to see me skip a few and maybe do the middle of the month or the end of the month or the start of the month? Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys want? to see happen so obviously um i want to try and move the save on and it's in the mid section of the season transfer windows closed etc etc so there's not that much interesting stuff it's just a lot of league games that are cup games things like that so let me know what do you guys think should i do um skip a few games due to the end of the month thing or maybe i should me to continue to do every single match i'm happy to do either one i just want to hear your feedback so um going into today's games we have barry and then mk dance uh let's take a look at the league table before we begin so you have a clear picture on what's happening so uh right now we kind of sit third in the table uh 10 points two points behind leaders pompey at the moment in time uh we play berry today and they've had a poor start they haven't won a game only three draws and then we play mk dons only won one game so today's games are very very winnable Let's take a look at today's team. So it'll be Masonian in goal, Haynes at left back, Graham at right back, Turnbull Willis with the middle, usual back four there, with Kraus, Stevens, and Salah in the middle, uh, with Jones as well on the right. McNulty and Noble are forming a very, very good uh, partnership up top, and I'm looking to find maybe a little nickname for them. Maybe, um, I, don't, I don't know, I, I'm not very creative, as you can probably understand. So let me know in the comments below too, what should I call Mark McNulty and Frank Noble's partnership? So, um... Um, also, there was a huge development. My youth scout found an absolute gem. His name is Reese Hall. He's 15 years old and he's already 62 overall with a potential between 68 and 94. I am going to be training the ever-loving crap out of this guy in the very, very near future to get him up to that up potential. And it's typical, you know, I found a goalkeeper in Antonio Massonial who I'm very happy with and then Reese Hall comes along. Otherwise, as soon as he turns 16, he would be in the first team. Um, but as you can see, he is absolutely marvellous for a young goalkeeper. So... And keep an eye on his development as the save progresses. So, without further ado, let's jump in into today's first game up against Barry at home. As I mentioned, uh, this is a very, very winnable game today. And uh, yeah, no much more to say. Let's go out and win it. All right, so here we go, live at the Rico Arena. Obviously, Frank Noble's had a blistering start to his time here at Coventry City. Let's continue that form today and let's hope he gets maybe a couple more goals. Here he is. He lays it off to McNulty, his new strike partner. And the defender as well to clear it. But still, great start for the two. Here's Noble, finds McNulty. McNulty's got Noble again if he can find him. Monty, first time left footed. It's on his favoured foot and he drags it wide of the post. Still a good build up play between the two. They're forming a very, very strong partnership on top. And that was. No, I wouldn't say narrow, narrowly wide. I'd say that was pretty close wide. All right, here's Kraus uh, galloping forward here. This is what he does best. He's got the pace and agility to get away. He's going to lay it across. And there is no ball. He gets there. Oh, unlucky. Good build-up play there from Tom Kraus. No ball slid in, and he hit the outside of the post. So far, he's definitely been an inspired signing. Here's Noble, holds off his defender beautifully, gets in the box and he's bundled over. Is that a penalty? Nope, it's not a given. He went down kind of easy there, I'll admit it. But still, I had hopes the uh, ref was going to give a penalty there. Oh, Jody Jones loses it in a very bad area there. Here's Willis going in for the tackle, shoots from distance, and that was a solid good chance for Berry. They've only had a couple today. We've pretty much dominated proceedings, but sloppy play like that. We'll give them opportunities. There's a chance for Berry again here at the end of the first half, and that's a good save for Marsonial. He punches it clear, and so far he's had a really, really good season so far. Definitely uh, worth what I paid for him. His no ball finds him on a Kraus. Kraus has got McNulty, if he can find it. McNulty is through on goal. I think he's onside, and that's a good save from the keeper. McNulty should have done better with the effort, and we got a corner from the result of that effort, though. Let's see if we can make the most of it. Ball's whipped in. Grimmer with a header. Ball goes in the box. Here's McNulty. Can he get space to shoot? It's finds Noble. Bounces Noble again. Noble surely this time. Nope. Unfortunately, he was swarmed by the opposition defenders and he could not get a clean shot off. 
And it's probably going to end the first half. Yep, there it is. So 0-0 at the half. Um, honestly, we've dominated most of the game so far. Plenty of opportunities for us, but couldn't couldn't stick one home. I'm going to keep the same team out there for now. Obviously, we have plenty of options on the bench in case we need to change things up. But things are going well, and I think a goal is coming. There's been multi. Here's Reese Brown of his first touch of the ball. He cuts inside beautifully. He's got no ball to aim at, but instead he finds Stevenson. What a finish from Ben Stevenson. Little nod at the near post there. Caught the keeper off guard. Then it's 1-0 to Coventry City. So I was talking about the impact that Reese Brown could make in this side. He got enough pace to get away. Dig some bit of skill. Cross it in there. And a glancing header from Ben Stevenson makes it 1-0. Humility finds Salah here. Cuts inside. Salah shoots. And what a goal that is from Ibrahim Salah. That's his first for the club. Beautiful finish from the edge of the area for Ibrahim Salah. A new sign-in on the deadline day. And he's coming. He's been very solid so far. Very dynamic, very solid. Gets forward, creates opportunities. And that was a fantastic finish from the edge of the area. Keeper stood no chance. 2-0 to the mighty Sky Blue Army. All right, two minutes had on there. And that was a good opportunity for Barry to get one back there. We've only two minutes of added on time. I think that's pretty much going to be the game now. Uh, so it's very solid, very professional display all around. Uh, two goals in quick succession basically killed the game off and uh, there you have it 2-0 no win at Ben's Berry at home very very solid performance good to get a win today and uh, good goals from Ben Stevenson and uh, Ibrahim Salah as well good to see goals coming from the midfield uh, instead of uh, up top for a change all right, so we've got some interesting piece of news finally some, someone came into a bid for Maximine um, BMR uh, BMU, whoever you pronounce it, whatever the case, so I'm going to accept it. Um, I'm trying to get rid of the guy ever since the first episode, so it's good to see him go. All right, so here we go with the second and last game for the episode up against MK Dons away from home. Now, obviously, having only played three days ago, changes are pretty much needed. As you can see, a couple of players are struggling a little bit for fitness. So um, we're going to make a couple of changes. Uh, Reese Brown will come in and start on the left wing ahead of Tom Krause. Uh, Jones is actually going to get a break today for Dominguez. Every time he's come on this season, he's actually performed pretty well, pretty above expectations. Um, instead of Salah, we're going to go for his Egyptian cousin there. Hamad uh, Stevenson, uh, Liam Kelly will play instead of him. Um, up top, McNulty and Noble, happy with that, but I'm going to go with Thomas today just to give McNulty a little bit of a break. Uh, I'm also going to move Noble over to the left-hand side, make Thomas drop back in the hole instead of him. Um, at the back here, could give a run out for Camacho, would be his first appearance to the club, would do that. Haynes will give Lancini a run out as well. And then Turnbull could play McDonald. Now nah, we'll leave things as they are in the center of defense. So um, Jones, yeah, we got to go back to the bench for Kraus. Um, who else can be in the Salah maybe? Andreo, definitely. He's not getting a game today, unfortunately starting. So I'll have him on there instead of McNulty and he'll provide another option up top. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go with that team today. So it's going to be Masonian in goal, Lancini at left back, Camacho making his debut at right back with Turnbull Willis through the middle. Uh, Brown on the left, Dominguez on the right, Kelly Hammer through the middle with Noble and Thomas. That should be good enough to get a result today and make it a two wins out of two for this episode. All right, so here we are away at MK Dons. Uh, let's try and make it two wins out of two. Here's Thomas early on. Thomas looking for front of Dominguez, can't find him. And it's going to be easily cleared by the MK Dons defenders. Balls whipped in there. It's got to be dealt with, and it's not dealt with at all. And that's a great saving challenge from Jordan Turnbull. All right, and it actually goes out for a goal kick. So Jordan Turnbull does double well in that case. That's a decent football there. Argard is through. And let's see if Camacho can deal with this. He does beautifully. Camacho can also play center half as well as right back. That's an awful challenge from uh, Liam Kelly. He's going to get pulled back and probably yellow carded for that one. And it sets up a uh, free kick in a very, very, very dangerous area. Let's see if they can make something from it. He shoots and it goes harmlessly over the bar. Never really troubling Masonio in goal. And it goes out for a goal kick. Because Ahmad has got Dominguez in space, so we can find them. He does. Dominguez is through on goal. He's going to have a shot here. Andrea Dominguez looking for his first goal in the Sky Blue jersey. And he can't find that. He smashes it over the bar. Unfortunately, the pressure got to him. That's the best chance of the first half. Haven't really created many opportunities, and he should have at least hit the target with that effort. Disappointing to have not found the back of the net on that occasion. But uh, lucky enough, we're starting to carve them open a little bit more now. So maybe we can snatch a goal here right before the end of the first half. Oh, that's an awful challenge, and it's going to be a penalty. 
terrible challenge there from Dominguez. And unfortunately, it's uh, it's going to be a penalty kick here to MK Dons right at the end of the first half. Now, let's see what Masonio can do from this. Uh, haven't used him in a penalty shootout yet, so let's see what Masonio can do. I got steps up and sends him the wrong way, and it's 1 0 to MK Dons. Had a feeling he was going to go to uh, the keeper's left, but he went to the right instead, and it's 1 0. All right, so that's the end of the first half right there. Obviously disappointed to concede such a late goal. It's a stupid challenge there from Andre Dominguez, considering he had an opportunity to make it 1-0 as well. So I'm pretty peeved at him right now. I'm going to leave him on the field, however. Uh, let's get the second half going because I've got a feeling we can get back in this game and we can win it. Oh, that's a good play for Nargaard there. Here's a chance and Lachini does very, very well. He's been very, very solid every time he's got a chance to play. Here's no ball, a great ball there for Kwame Thomas. Now Thomas does have opportunity here. He hasn't got any support. He's going to cut back onto his right foot. He's got, finally got support, but he can't hold it long enough there. And unfortunately, the ball is cleared. Here's Reese Brown. He's had a very quiet game so far. Looking for front of Lancini. Lancini's going to whip this ball in. Thomas gets across his man. And it's going to be cleared out. And I think it's going to offer a goal kick. And lucky, decent cross there from Lancini. And uh, Thomas did well to get in front of his defender, but couldn't get any kind of power on a shot. Oh, here's a chance now for MK Dons, and they made it 2-0. Unfortunately, Argard's pace was too much to handle for Jordan Turnbull, and it's 2-0 to MK Dons. All right, time for something drastic, I think, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and change our formation to try and get back in this game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to a diamond formation. It's going to be a diamond wide. Um, all right, so with that in mind, right, Brown, yep, you can be an attacking midfielder. Kelly, you are going to be the holding midfielder. Dominguez can stay on the right. Actually, I'm going to make a change in a second for him. Jody Jones is going to come in on the left. Uh, Dominguez uh, for Andreu. So he can play out there on the right. So actually, he should play Reese Brown on the right, shouldn't I? Oh, not that. Definitely not that. All right, so Reese Brown, yeah, you go on the right. Andrea, you go up top. In the, uh, in the hole. Uh, Thomas, you've been garbage, so Bevan, come on. All right, so let's go for it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try and get back in this game. We get a quick goal. We might be able to salvage at least a point from this. All right, here's MK Dons now with another opportunity, and that is an absolutely, that's a belter of a strike, that is, from MK Dons. I don't know who that was, but that was an unbelievable strike. Poor throw from Masonial. And uh, on the first time on the half volley, Masonio's not getting to that. That is a great strike for Mr. Giorgio Rosolo. First goal of the season for him. And that's pretty much put the game beyond any kind of doubt now. And it looks like we are going to suffer our second defeat of the season. All right. So five minutes left to go in this game. Absolutely no chance again in back into it at all. Um, just a very disappointing display. Unfortunately, that third goal really, really took the wind out of us. And here's maybe a chance for a fourth, and that's a good save for Masonial. But yeah, nothing more to say. Just poor defending. A poor mistake by Dominguez in the end of the first half to give them the lead. Because it really was looking increasingly like we were going to get something out of this game. But unfortunately, when you go 1-0 down, you've then got to chase the game. And it just becomes a mess. That's a great through ball. And Bevan's through on goal. Can he score a consolation here for us? Bevan's through. And oh dear, that just sums up our day, ladies and gentlemen. Right there. Terrible finish from Stuart Bevan. What the fuck were you doing? That then that just sums up our day right there. That effort, that pathetic effort, really just epitifies everything that we were today. All right, here's Bevan again. He's looking for Andre. He's found him. He's in the box. Andre shoots. Good save. Here's Bevan on the rebound. Falls to Jones. Jones to Andre. Nope. Here's Kelly. Is Jody Jones. Nope, he's going to be easily tackled. And there it is. Full-time whistle. Ends up in a 3-0 defeat away at MK Don. So a terrible way to end this episode. Not so very happy with that display at all. All right, so there you have it. That finishes off this episode. Uh, with those two results, we currently sit fifth now in the table. Um, a little bit, only two points off the pace from Doncaster, who are leading right now. Um, again, I want your feedback before we leave this episode, I want you guys to put in the comments below, how do you want to see the updates? Do you want to see it every, uh, every how do you want to do, you want to do every single game? Do you want to do every other game? Do you want to do every two games? Do you want to do end of the month two games? There'll always be two games in the episode, so I'm always going to do that way. Um, but please let me know uh, in the comments below how you would like to see these updates happen, because obviously FM18 is around the corner and a football manager based channel, and I want to keep doing this. So how this is going to work is essentially... 
Um, Foot Manager 18 is going to be out every single day. That's going to take the everyday time slot that is FIFA right now. FIFA will then become every other day, uh, along along with Championship Manager. That'll also be every other day. So please let me know in the comments below how you want to see these updates happen. Do you want to see it end of the month, etc., etc., etc. So just let me know. I'll be open to any kind of um, feedback, things like that. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode, despite that humiliating 3 0 defeat against MK Dons. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos with me in the future, please hit subscribe, turn notifications on. I truly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.